So if someone were to say to me, 10 years from now, what, what do you remember about these two? The impression I have of them is I don't think I've ever met two people who were so deliriously happy. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're happy to the point of almost being silly, if you know what I mean. That, and and I, I, I remember when they first, first I thought, do they ever do anything but laugh? We met over 20 years ago. I mean, just a few years ago when we were young. We met over 20 years ago uh, as kids in school. We went to middle school together and high school together. But actually where we really met was in a dance studio. I figured Michael was just going through one of those phases, but with the girl he liked, and it was Joanna at the time. Now it wasn't until I met you though, Joanna, that I realized that it was more than just a phase. I realized why he was head over heels for you. It's because you are every bit of the person that he described you to be. You are a beautiful, intelligent, free-spirited young woman. And you're a little weird, just like he is. And that's why you guys are a perfect match. Yeah. It's a little weird. Hey, look at you, whoa, it looks so beautiful. So I realized then it was more than just a phase. He found his life partner, a partner that he could never do without. Love for someone who understands what love is. If someone were to come to you and, and say to you, I will give you my entire fortune if you will just give up the ability to love. The writer of the Song of Solomon says that the wise person takes love over money, always. Who knew that four years and four months ago we would be eating dinner at the very same neighborhood we would be living in together. These past few years have been nothing but pure happiness. I love sharing and seeing the world in your eyes. Your smile and laughter is so infectious. It helps brighten my day when the day is not so bright. Your love is so big. It helps remind me why life is worth living. and it got me thinking back to our ballet days. So in ballet, there's this term called a pas de deux, and it means the step for two. And it's the part of a ballet when there's just two dancers on the floor, and a whole theater of people go silent. And just for a few moments, they watch perfectness, just absolute pure beauty, transpire. Today is that day. We are here as this beautiful audience to watch this pas de deux start. Joanna? You have found the perfect partner for your pas de deux. Mike, please lead her in this dance of life. And I hope you enjoy all the beauty that surrounds you today and always.